Hello and welcome back to Michael's Japan Diaries. It's summer. It's very much summer here in Okinawa. Um, and that makes it really, really hot. I mean, even if it's not summer, it is really hot in Okinawa and the humidity is... The humidity is uh, next level. So in order to, you know, combat the heat, besides using like these well, fans which don't really do anything, I do have the air conditioner on, of course, that you might hear a little bit of sound. I'm, I'm sorry, if I turned off, I will absolutely die here, so please forgive me for that. There is something else that you can do, which is, of course, drink a nice cold drink. And I will show you something interesting that they have in Japan, which is this. Uh, it probably looks fairly normal to you, uh, Asahi is super dry. This probably doesn't seem special to you. But the thing that is special is here. Nama Joki Kam. Now, Nama is, well, it means raw, but it's the word that they use for draft beer. Uh, Joki is, well, the name for the kind of glass that you get a draft beer in if you go to any sort of pub or any place in Japan. So this is a can of draft beer. Doesn't immediately sound a lot different from a lot of other, you know, canned beers that claim to be draft. What they've done here is you know that thing when you drink a beer and it's really annoying that you're drinking the beer? Well, they fixed that problem with this, because instead of the beer, you get all of the foam. In Japan, apparently foam is a big thing. Uh, I don't know why you would drink that instead of, you know, the actual beer that you're there for, but this, this thing is, is supposed to do that. Um, you will notice the top looks a little bit different from usual cans. This more like, looks like a can of tuna or something, or like the entire thing at the top here opening. So this is supposed to be cold. I mean, why would you drink it? Not cold in the first place, but if it is over 12 degrees, it doesn't work. There's a little sticker here saying that. And so of course I had it in the fridge. So anyway, enough talking. Let's let's see what this thing does. So if I open this one. That is a very refreshing sound and yeah, that's what it does. Oh, that's that's Worse than I imagined. Oh sh yeah. That is, um, I took one piece of paper here, but I clearly, clearly needed a lot more paper than this. Ah! Um, I was, I was taken a little bit by surprise from that. Um, I knew, uh, I knew it was supposed to do that. I did not expect it to do it so violently. Um, so yeah, basically, instead of beer, it brings you a nice fresh can of foam. And as I'm holding it here in my hand, heating it up, like the foam, I should I should probably not hold that close to the camera and drip beer all over the place. This, my little sofa table down here is, um, it's going to need a bit of a scrubbing after this. Basically, if, if I could, um, get this thing to do what I want it to do. Basically, what, what it does, I, I don't know what they've done to it, but it starts cold and then as it heats up, something in there makes the foam go like crazy and the higher the temperature, the more the fo the uh, more intense the foam, the higher the foam rises. And that's why if I'm holding it here in my hands, warming it up, the foam kind of rises up and you can, you can see it rising up to the top there. Um, I think, so I was taking the thumbnail before I did this, so that's probably why it's been heated up a little bit and um, the foam goes super crazy. What I was going to do, I was going to introduce this, like, haha, isn't it funny that instead of beer you can just drink the foam, um, because who wants to drink the beer? Um, but yeah, instead, I was made into a joke. So yeah, anyway, as you're sitting there on a nice hot summer day with your cup of foam, you might get a little bit hungry for some snacks. So we've got that covered as well. I've got this thing. Geki Karamania. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure I need to translate that. You can see just from the packaging what kind of product this is. Geki Kara means extremely spicy. And um, so, yeah. Um, I saw these and then I thought, hey, that looks fun. I'll try those. So that's what I'm gonna do. Pump. It looks something like that. Bit difficult to see with the lighting there. They are 
I don't, I don't even know what this is. They are whatever that is. Looks, looks harmless enough. Smells like, I don't know, some kind of barbecue flavor or something. Tastes a bit like barbecue flavor. And then, oh boy. I mean, this would be really fun to give to someone as a joke. It's like, oh, hey, try these nice little barbecue snacks because when you first eat them, they're completely harmless. Completely harmless. And then, little by little. I mean, they're not super crazy, terribly hot. But, oh wait, yes they are. Ah. They're actually kind of good, but... Ah, it's in the nose. It's in my nose. <laughs> flavors. Flavors are good, but... Ooh. Well, I mean, it's what you get, isn't it? So, yeah. Anyway, that's that's really all I wanted to show you. The... The... Uh, spicy, those things. And the beer that's more foam than beer, because... Yeah, why, why not? Why not? The actual beer is absolutely nothing special. It's completely normal as I see it dry, so it's just it's just the gimmick of the Just 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 be careful about the temperature before you open it or make sure to have a lot of tissues ready. Anyway, as I did mention in my last video, I am going a little bit of a trip to Denmark. So actually by the time you're watching this, I'll probably be in Denmark, even though I have a nice little fan and I love Okinawa. I got from 7-Eleven that's celebrating their third anniversary in Okinawa. They actually didn't used to be here. I didn't know, but I got this one along with some uh, discount coupons for them, from them. So, hey, anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to share. So. Um, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again at some indeterminate point in the future. Swoosh!